Let's solve a system of equations that have fractions. Here I've got x over 2 plus y over 8 equals 4 and x over 3 minus y over 2 equals negative 2. I don't know about you but I'm not crazy about fractions so what I'd like to do is multiply through by a common denominator in each case to get rid of the fractions. If I look at this first equation if you don't see a number underneath a whole number that means it's a 1. The common denominator would be 8. Here the common denominator is going to be 6. So we'll remove the, remove the denominators by multiplying each term by a common denominator. So equation 1 x over 2 plus y over 8 equals 4. I'm going to multiply each term by 8. In this case, the 8's go away. If I take 8, this gives me 8x over 2 plus y equals 32. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so I have 4x plus y equals 32. I'm going to call that equation 2. Let's look at the second one. x over 3 minus y over 2 equals negative 2. I'm going to multiply every term by 6. So that gives me 6x over 3 minus 6y over 2 equals negative 12. I can divide 3 by 3 here, that gives me 2x. I can divide that by a 2, minus 3y equals negative 12. I'm going to call that equation 3. These equations are equivalent to what I started out with. They've just been multiplied through to eliminate the fractions. Now I will go ahead and try and find a way to eliminate one of the variables. So I'm going to start off by writing both equations in the same form. 4x plus y equals 32. That's equation 2. 2x minus 3y equals negative 12. That's equation 3. <coughs> I kind of like the fact that I can just multiply this equation here by a 2 to give me a 4 and eliminate the x. So I'm going to multiply equation 3 times 2. So if I do that, that gives me 4x minus 6y equals negative 24. I'm going to name that equation 4. So I don't need that guy anymore. Now I've got a 4x plus a y equals 32, and a 4x minus a 6y equals a negative 24. If I just subtract one equation from the other, I will get, I will eliminate one variable. So, as I always like to deal with positive numbers where possible, I'm going to do the positive minus the negative. Positive minus the negative. So I'm going to do equation 4 minus or sorry, equation, sorry, equation 2 minus equation 4. 4x minus 4x gives me a 0. 1y minus negative 6y gives me a 7y. And 32 minus negative 24 gives me 56. If I divide both sides by 7, I get y equals 8. That's the y-coordinate of my solution. Let's plug that in to equation 2 to get the x-value. So equation 2 is 4x plus y equals 32. I'm going to sub in y equals 8. get rid of that 8, I'll subtract from both sides. 
and to get from 4x down to x, I'll divide by 4. And that gives me x equals 6. Solution is 6, 8. Let's check that in equation in equation 3 to make sure it's the right answer, that I didn't make a mistake somewhere along the way. So I'm going to check in 3. Left side, right side, check. So I've got 2x minus 3y equals negative 12. I'm going to sub in my x and my y. So 2 times 6 minus 3 times 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 3 times 8 is minus, is, uh, minus 24. And 12 minus 24 is negative 12. Negative 12 equals negative 12. Left side equals right side. This is the correct solution to this system. Thank you for visiting this lesson.